You'll be in trouble with the teacher again if you don't hurry. Off you go. Put down that carrot, Sniffy, and get off to school. All of you, this minute. Bye. 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 See you later, dear. Bye-bye, sweetie. Don't forget, the mallets are coming for dinner. I won't, dearest. Bye. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Good morning, Hetty. Geraldine, have you seen, have you seen what she's got over there in that nest? Just hash, just this minute. No, I was just on my way to... Oh, my word! How frightful! What on earth is it? Well, if you ask me, it looks like a seagull. It's ugly enough. And so huge. What an embarrassment. All right. You will be Alice, Araminta, Albert, Algernon. <laughs> and I shall call you Augustus. Have you seen the newest newborns in the neighborhood? Have you heard the latest gossip on the lake? Five new baby ducklings born this morning. 
And rumor has it one of them is something to behold. An ugly duckling, so the story's told. It must be such a burden on the family. They say his face along in sour milk. It makes you wonder what this world is coming to. I suppose it's like they say, Just count your eggs before they hatch. Cause all it takes is one to spoil the batch. We cut it back and close our eyes. Weave an image to maintain. And it comes as no great shock. He's our only stumbling block. He's by far the foulest flounder fold among the flock. It's important that we let him know our feelings. It would be a great relief to all concerned. There's got to be some other place he'd fit in. I'm sure he'd be much happier with others his own kind. Everyone could find some peace of mind. And everyone could find some peace of mind. You must be so proud of the four of them. <gasps> There's five, actually. Such pretty little things. Four little bundles of joy. Five. Four tiny five. As a matter of fact, we was wondering about that one. Oh, we thought perhaps he might be, well, uh, adopted or... Could you have possibly got your eggs mixed in some way? I mean, well, he is different from the others, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's big and strong and handsome, and I love him just like I love the others. Oh, yes, quite right. <laughs> of course you do. Naturally. Well, we must be off, mustn't we, Hetty? Yes, Geraldine. Yes, we must. We'll pop by again tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye-bye, dear. Good morning. Well, I think you're beautiful. No. What? He's a turkey. That's what he is. He's a turkey. It's obvious. Of course he isn't a turkey. He's my son and he's a duck. You could find out if he's a turkey. How? By pushing him into the water. Turkeys can't swim, can they? Oh, that's a good idea. After all, it's best to know, isn't it? Well, all right then. It's time they all had their first swim. I'll take them in now. But after you've seen how well he'll be able to swim, I don't want to hear another word about turkeys. See? <laughs> oh! Now look what you've done. You could have squashed her to death. Look how upset she is. I'm sorry. Really, I didn't mean to. You ought to play with people your own size. You ought. <laughs> now, come on. Stop crying. You're not hurt. I am. I am. He all crunched me up and bent my leg. It really hurts. <laughs> I'm sorry. Honestly, I am. Well, come on, then. We'll take you home and put a bandage on it. you've done. 
son. Look what you've done to my babies. They've nearly drowned. I didn't mean to. I'm really sorry. Well, sorry's not good, is it? Get away from them, you great, ugly brute. I... Ugly, 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 ugly. Ah! <coughs> Watch where you're going, can't you? I'm sorry. I didn't see you. Then you should pay more attention to where you're putting your feet. It's all very well tramping about hither and yon regardless, but people could be injured, crushed to death. With feet that size, you're better off staying in the water. Yes, perhaps you're right. Anyway, I'm sorry. Well, all right then. But big, clumsy people are a danger to others. Just bear that in mind. Yes, I will. Thank you. Good. Goodbye. Be so much rito. Jordan will have a new master. He shall have but a penny. Can a I have a turn? If he wants, we can both get on the same end. We're ready! Oof. Ah! Oof. You've broken it! Broken our seesaw! Yes, I'm sorry. I... It was our birthday present. It was our best birthday present. And we're going to get into ever such trouble. They'll be ever so cross. I'm really, really sorry. You shouldn't be allowed to go around breaking people's things. It's not fair. We go to tell our mummy of you. Oh, dear. Of course, your young Augustus is pleasant enough. Very nice manners and everything, but he does rather loom, doesn't he? I'm sure he means well. I'm sure he does. But he somehow doesn't quite fit in around here. And, of course, there have been complaints. Complaints? Oh, yes. Yes, there have. What sort of complaints? From the little ones, mostly. He trips over them. He sits on them. He breaks their toys. They like him well enough, of course. But they're afraid to play with him. Oh, dear. Perhaps you might consider sending him away. I'm sure you must have lots of relations who could offer him a suitable home.